Washing the Arms After washing the face, one must wash the right arm and then the left arm from the elbow to the fingertips in a way that water reaches every part of the arm. Washing the arms is similar to washing the face in that they have to be washed from top to bottom. But if some drops of water move towards the elbow unintentionally, the wudu is still correct. Washing one's hands before performing wudu is mustahab. Some people, because of washing their hands before performing wudu, during wudu only wash parts of their arms that have not been washed before wudu and they don't pay attention to the fact that the whole arm must be washed while performing wudu at least one time. After washing one whole body part once, one may wash it a second time. But washing it for the third time is haram. Of course, one complete wash can be performed using a few handfuls of water. But if a person has one arm, they must perform the ertamas wudu, which we will talk about later. Of course, this is the case if an arm is missing from the elbow down. But if they have part of their arm below the elbow, the part below the elbow must be washed in wudu.